Okay, you guys, so this was Chantal's latest live stream where she tells us how sad and depressed she is. She pretty much covers it all from basically tell every, telling everybody to F off about her cats. She talks about DC Media Girls channel um, getting terminated. She's definitely in a mood, a horrible mood. We almost get a rage. So this video will be clips and tweets and um, pretty much all the important parts that you need to see all in one video. Um, I'm sorry, I don't talk as often as I normally do, but I I'm struggling with my voice. I'll see you guys soon. Right <laughs> you have emotional debts. What do you mean by that? <laughs> We're always connected. You got I am with my soulmate. I changed the name of my stream because that's what I talk about most of the time. What's the big deal? <laughs> you know? I think it's probably all overwhelming too. I mean, it's a lot of changes in my mind. Yeah. I don't know. I just feel weird. Thanks, Mary. Go stay with Smee. <laughs> I might stay with me later. It's okay. Thanks, Karma. I'll be alright, guys. <laughs> yeah, I heard she got terminated. I don't really care about them, honestly. Like, whatever. Nobody on YouTube is, like, loyal. Not loyal, but, like, I don't know. I just can't stand any of that community whatsoever. Get your chicken! I saw that acting differently, no. He's sleeping right now, it's so early, it's like late there, like 5 in the morning probably. <laughs> so he's sleeping, but yeah, we did video. I mean, we talk all day. Just makes me want him more, to see him more. I guess I have guilt about the cats, but... I really don't know what to do, like, I'm gonna be not living here, so... And I just, like, thinking about how the logistics of bringing them to Kuwait, it's, like, impossible, you know? So there's not really anything else I can do. It's, like, one of those situations, I don't know. Who wanted to meet up? What are you talking about? Cannot come now on a tour. It's the guilt you feel leaving Pete's. That's emotional debt. we have been together for a long time, of course, it's going to be hard. Yeah, golden girl, but like, I guess, yeah, a bit of guilt from that, you know? But then I get, like, mad. I get, like, well, like, we're only responsible for our own happiness in a way because, like, I cannot make him happy just by, like, living with him, you know? Or maybe that he would be happy forever living with me, but we're not, and we're not together that way, and, you know? Like, I don't know. I'm a Muslim woman now. And maybe I have guilt from that. People always telling me, she's not Muslim, she's not Muslim. Just because I have slip-ups and get high from, like, do you know how hard it is to change your life? At least I'm trying. What The people who are criticizing you, what are you doing? You're just doing nothing. Like, just be quiet. Like, you have no idea who I am. You don't know me. You don't know what I struggle with. The only person who has a right to tell someone they're not Muslim is God himself. Long-distance relationships suck, but sometimes I miss being in one. We live together now, but the anxiety of waiting to see each other was overwhelming. Yeah. I like worry he's gonna forget me or something, even though it's like maybe irrational because we're married, <laughs> but I don't know. I guess it's just a mixture of things. I just feel like, like every single person, I feel like I have no privacy in my life. And I know that's a big part of my fault, but some things no. Exactly, Karma. <laughs> right, Aisha? Yeah. Everyone needs to find their own way. Yeah. Yeah, long distance sucks. Yeah, vitamin. I heard that. People, like, mass reported her channel. I think that's why.
I haven't started reading the Quran, but like learning more about Islam yet. I've been praying. <sighs> you know. Okay. Sorry, I don't answer the blue comments. Make a plan to go to your local mosque, maybe. Anyways, I get blamed for everything. Doesn't matter what. Nobody has any responsibility in anything other than me. People are dumb. You think my stuff is ready? I probably won't be on long for long. I need to get out of my funk. I need to like, I don't know, just waste the night away. <laughs> just be in my own, like, in my feels. So this tweet I found, I thought we needed to read this and watch the clip and see what the people have to say about this. Um, so Chantal's deleted comments on Twitter at Nanya39773966 said always belittling and looking down on and speaking down to people. And why put the emphasis on begging for money? Miss has to exploit every tragedy for coin? You are better than no one, Chantal. Let us remember when she was crying for food and shelter because she was without electricity for, I think, two hours, three hours at the most. All right, so we're gonna watch the clip and let's read these yeah. comments. Everything is legal here and I don't think that's a good thing. In Kuwait, I never saw people strung out on the street, begging for money, being hammered and stupid. I never saw any people like that. It's not legal, you would go right to jail. So at Lazy Girl on Twitter said, why is she so elitist? She doesn't understand that a system that jails homeless people is broken. She deserves every single bad that, com bad that comes to her. Um, Persephone said she was literally strung out two nights ago. <laughs> oh, goodbye, cloven hooves, moron. Um, oh well, if it's cruel, what do you want me to do? I can't bring them with me. You want me to divorce somebody? Sorry, not happening. <clears throat> Hate me all you want for the cats, I don't care, but you will be blocked, leave me alone. Okay, so look at this comment by Liz. It says, um, at Liz Mosby on Twitter, hashtag foodie beauty says Sam is missing too much hair because Pete's brushed him out too much. Uh, no, he brushed the knots out. The knots you never cared to brush out. That leaves less and an uneven coat, and he's feeling so much better. Zero thanks to you. I really liked this tweet by Barbecue Chicken, and it says Chantel values her worth in having a man by her side, and nothing else matters, not even her cats. When she doesn't have that, she's depressed. It's truly sad. 